for the next topic, we're going to look at how you can import different types of data into the system. And over the last couple of months, we've gone over a lot of the main network objects that you can use that will allow you to create some of those networks from scratch. However, there are some of the import options that can allow you to get kind of a head start and create some of those objects automatically. Now, none of these will import a perfect model that will allow you to start um, running immediately, but there will at least will be a good starting point uh, to get some of the roadway network built in um, and then allow you to further configure that. So some of the options we're going to look at today include the read additionally functionality, um, which will allow you to combine two different system networks. The AM import, which will allow you to bring over data from either Vizoom or from Vistro. The coordinate route import, which will allow you to read in new routing information based on location. And then finally, we've got a synchro import as well. So if you do have two separate system networks that you would like to combine, um, or if you want to bring in any other data from another file, like maybe you have a, a pre-built file with Florida-specific um, vehicle types and vehicle classes, uh, maybe you want to bring that into another file that you've already started, um, you can use this read additionally functionality to combine networks or to combine data. And this option is going to live under the file menu, under read additionally, and then under network. And this will open up this read additionally window. And this will allow you to check which objects you want to read in. So if you only have a few things, like maybe you just want to read in some of the vehicle types and classes or 2D, 3D models, um, you can uncheck them all using some of this, like, mark none for reading. And then you can just check specific ones. Or if you want to bring everything over, um, into another file, you can leave everything selected. And you can also do some other things to set up some conflict avoidance just to um, avoid any thing, anything that's like numbered the same. Um, so you can have it choose um, a new number. Um, you can also set different offsets so that way in case anything was numbered the same, that, that new set will be offset um, by a certain amount. Okay, and then our next import option here is for the ANM, which is for an abstract network model. And this will um, allow you again to bring in information from either the Zoom or from Distro. If you want to take it from one of those platforms and then study it in, in a micro simulation and kind of start creating a, a model within the system. So this will again bring in a lot of those roadway details, um, depending on what you have set up. Um, like you probably will have to do some fine tuning um, Maybe you shift the links around a little bit um, or just make sure that you've got all your speeds and everything in place. Um, but it will bring in a lot of the data, especially if you're looking at the Zoom and maybe you've added in some of the signal information. All of that will come over as well. Um, speed information will come over. So it really gives you a good starting point um, for a system network without having to um, start from scratch and start, and start building it up when you already have maybe something created in a different platform. Um, one other nice thing about the AM import is that it will also allow you, um, in addition to starting a new network, you can also bring in any route information as well. Okay, so this option is under File, and in this case, we're going to go down to Import, and then here's where you can select AM for Vistro or Vizoom. And once you have that selected, you'll see this AM import window will open up. And this will allow you to read in that AM import um, AM file. So you'll just click here um, to import any network data. So again, this will bring in things like the roadway. Um, if you had speed set up, it'll bring in speed decisions and reduce speed areas. Um, it can bring in signal information as well. And any of these will read in an AM file. Um, and these will be things that are exported from either Visnum or from Vistro. And then the second section here will allow you to import route data. So if you already have an original AM file created, um, or if you just wanted to update route information, you can always uncheck this import network data and just import routing if you just want to bring that over. Um, you can bring in either static or dynamic routing, um, just depending on how you have that network set up. And this will have you select an AM route file. 
So if you click this, it'll it'll start looking for an A&M route file. Um, again, this will be exported from uh, from the Zoom. And any of this A&M route information is going to to use the node numbering structure to in order to map the routes to the correct location. So when using this A&M route import, it's very important that um, for the Zoom or for Vistro that the nodes match the nodes in the VISM network. Um, we'll also talk about another option next that does not depend um, on the node structure for its route import. And then finally, down here at the bottom is where you can save um, everything. So this will allow you to save the VISM file that's going to be created from the import. Um, and then it'll also automatically populate these um, two options here for the AM network and routes file. And these two are just backup files. So you'll see here that they'll have a, a P in front of them. So you'll have a PANM and a PANM routes file. Um, and these will be based on however you name that system file and will be automatically set up. All right. And then for the, the next coordinate option, again, this is for the coordinate route import. So unlike the AM route import, um, which uses the node structure, this actually uses the um, coordinate location to bring the route information in. And this, again, is also under the import option. And in this case, it'll be called route um, and then coordinates in parentheses. And this will allow you, again, to set up either the static or dynamic routing. Um, you can choose to have uh, this and either create any missing network objects that it needs for those particular routes, um, or you can have it use only existing objects. And then you can also set up the parameters here for importing the routes, which is determining what that radius is going to be used as the routes are trying to snap on to the closest link. And then finally, uh, VISM also has an option to import a network created in Synchro. And this can also be found under the import um, option um, under Synchro. And then you can just select the Synchro file and save the VISM network from here. All right. Uh, I know we're running a little bit short on time, so I'll just quickly um, go back to the VISM network. So again, for any of those import options, if you're trying to read in another VISM network, uh, you'll just want to go to that read additionally network option. Otherwise, if you're looking to import anything from the Zoom or from Vistro, you can use that A&M import um, or the route import as well. And if you are in, in the Zoom or Vistro, in order to create those A&M files, you'll just need to go to File, Export, and this is where you can create that A&M file, um, an A&M routes file, which can then be read into VISM to um, create either the network or to update that route information as well. And you'll see here in the Zoom, um, we also have that coordinate-based route export as well that you can use if you if you want to use that location-based route rather than the um, kind of strict node structure um, that's required for that A&M routing. 